the last two years caught many of us off guard. And not just because of the pandemic, it also ushered in the hottest housing market on record. Home prices rose nationally by nearly 19% just in 2021. It was driven primarily by low mortgage rates and a major supply shortage. But while some had hoped that 2022 would bring a return to normalcy, the U.S. housing market continues to boom. This is in despite of rising interest rates and decreasing affordability. So what's driving this persistent demand? And is there an end in sight? We'll find out the answers to these questions and how they could affect you if you are planning to buy or sell a home this year. So if you're ready, let's go. If we haven't met yet, I'm Sue Singleton, Realtor with Cobo Bankers Seacoast Advantage here in beautiful Southeastern North Carolina. Over the past couple of years, home buyers have faced intense competition for new homes. Now this is in part due to historically low mortgage rates that, that were the result of the Federal Reserve's efforts to keep the economy afloat during the COVID-19 pandemic. However, in response to a concerning level of inflation, the Federal Reserve is now reversing those efforts by raising the federal funds rate. Now, as a result of that, mortgage rates are rising. Now, few experts predicted, though, that mortgage rates would go up as quickly as they have. In January of this year, 2022, the Mortgage Bankers Association predicted that rates would reach 4% by the end of the year. But by mid-April, the average 30-year fixed mortgage rate had already hit close to 5% or a little above 5%. That's up around 3% from just one year ago. Now, on a $400,000 mortgage, that 2% difference could translate into an additional $461 monthly payment. Since then, mortgage rates have continued on an upper trend. So what impact are these rising rates having on demand? While many buyers had hoped for a cooling effect, experts warn that may not be the case. Economists say that rising mortgage rates are having a counterintuitive effect on the housing market. Since inventory remains low, the resulting raise has kept the home buying market highly competitive. Well, that is at least for now. So what does this mean for you? Well, while current 30-year fixed mortgage rates represent an increase over previous months, they still remain well below the historical average of 8%. As inflation across the economy continues, the Fed is likely to, to raise rates further this year. Buyers should act fast to secure a good mortgage rate. Some of the lenders that I've been working with are locking in pre-approval rates for up to six months. And sellers, speed is also of the essence if you're selling. The pool of potential buyers may shrink as mortgages become more expensive. Now, if you plan to finance, whether you're buying or selling your next home, you'll want to act quickly to secure a favorable rate for yourself. Man, I remember in the 1980s when I thought 13.5% was a good rate, right? So, so while the pace of appreciation is likely to decrease next year, home prices really do show no sign of going down. However, remember that current labor shortages are leading to higher salaries and better job opportunities for many workers. You may actually find that your income growth outpaces home prices, making home ownership more affordable for you in the future. One of the largest hurdles to home ownership in our current market is a lack of inventory. According to a recent February 2022 report by Realtor.com, there's an expanding gap between household formation and home construction, which has resulted in a nationwide shortage. Interestingly, the origins of this shortage actually date back to the 2008 housing crisis, during which crashing home values led contractors to stop building new properties. This is a trend that has not been fully reversed, according to most housing experts. The decline in home construction 
also resulted in a decrease in the number of home builders or home building professionals. This trend was also hurt by job losses during the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, many builders are also finding that they're limited by their ability to find qualified labor. Another major challenge is a staggering increase in the cost of materials. We've seen that all over the place. Pandemic-related supply chain shortages have been a significant driver with home building material costs rising on average 20% on a year-over-year -year basis. <laughs> the price of framing lumber uh, alone has tripled since August of 2021. Most home buying experts agree, though, that the lack of inventory is the primary factor driving rising home prices and unprecedented competition for homes. With available housing units near 40-year um, lows, the end of the current housing boom is not yet in sight. Prospective buyers should be prepared to compete for a home since low inventory can lead to multiple offers. Now, you may also need to expand your search parameters. And if you need to sell your home, well, the picture for sellers is actually a little rosier too. In this strong market, your home may be worth more than you realize. Now, while national real estate trends can provide a big picture outlook for buyers and sellers, remember that real estate is still local. So whether you're looking to, to upgrade to a new home that will better suit your, your family or your lifestyle, looking for a second home or a first home, maybe you're looking for investment property, or perhaps you're looking to sell your home, let's connect so that you can stay updated on what's happening along the Carolina coast and in all of southeastern North Carolina. Please feel free to reach out by phone, text, or email. And if you haven't already, I would appreciate you hitting the subscribe button below, like and share this video, and leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. And remember, happiness grows here. I'll talk to you next time.